Hi, my name is Chad Motter. I am currently working at Sunflower Elementary in the Gardner Edgerton School District. This is a brief overview on inclusion services for students in the Life Skills Program. First, we are going to talk about the comprehensive planning system called CAPS for short. Um, CAPS provides an overview of a student's daily schedule by time and activity, as well as by the supports that the students need during each period. The CAPS allows professionals and parents to answer the crucial questions for students with autism or other students with disabilities. CAPS is simply a list of recording a student's tasks and activities, the times they occur and the supports needed to support student success. In addition, space is allowed for making notations about data collection and how skills are to be generalized in other settings. CAPS consists of certain components that are evidence-based practices for students that typically have autism. The following are some. Time. This section indicates the clock time at which each of the student's activities take place. Activities include all tasks and activities throughout the day in which the student requires support. Academic periods such as reading and math or non-academic times, recess and lunch, and transitions between classes are all considered to be activities. Targeted skills to teach. This may include IEP goals, state standards, and or general skills that lead to su school success. Structures and modifications. This can encompass a wide variety of supports, including placement in the classroom, visual supports, such as choice boards, visual schedules, peer supports, such as circle of friends, peer buddies, and instructional strategies, priming, self-monitoring, reinforcement. This is where students have access to specific types of reinforcement, as well as a reinforcement schedule. This would be listed here sensory strategies and supports are identified by an occupational therapist and they're listed in this area of the caps communication social skills specific communication goals or activities as well as supports are described here goals or activities may include requesting help taking turns in conversation, or protesting appropriately. Supports may also encompass language boards, PECs, which is picture exchange communication systems, or other augmentative communication systems. Data collection. Data collection includes gathering information on behaviors, to be documented during a specific activity. Typically, information in this section relates to the IEP goals and objectives, behavioral issues, and state standards. Generalization plan. Because individuals often have problems generalizing information across settings, this section of the CAPS was developed to ensure that generalization of skills is built into the student's program. The CAPS is a multifaceted program that allows educational professionals to know at a glance the goals for the activity and what students need in order to be successful. Moreover, CAPS can facilitate student independence across settings, activities, and people. This groundbreaking tool not only supports compliance with the student's IEP and special education, it also reduces teacher workload.
This is an example of the Comprehensive Autism Planning System, as known as CAPS. This is the morning. This is the afternoon. Training staff. When do we provide the training? We provide it before and after school, during the day, such as recess, plan time, uh, walking down the hall, talking to staff. And then how do we provide the training? We either talk face to face, we talk to each other over the phones if we need to, if we can't get away. We also create visuals, and then we can also create videos that we can share with staff on how we need to do certain procedures. And then also um, universal design, we try to uh, integrate that into uh, ways that the kids can stay in the classroom while they're doing their lessons on grade level. To do this, we need to relay content in diverse ways, which could be visually, verbally, and written. We need to ask students to share what they are learning in diverse ways, such as speaking, illustrating, writing, etc. And then we need to use multiple materials to engage students such as software, which could be on the computer, the iPad, Android devices. Uh, we can also do it through art, theater, video. Employ collaborative teaching techniques is another word for team teaching. Interactive teaching. This is where two or more teachers shift roles between leading whole class instruction, observing instruction, and monitoring learning. Alternative teaching. One teacher leads small group instruction while the other teacher works with the rest of the class. This model works particularly well if a small group requires reinforcement or reteaching to master a concept. Parallel teaching. Two or more teachers lead small, mixed ability groups of students in the same lesson. This approach functions well when teachers require a high level of focus and participation from students. Station teaching. Two or more teachers lead or observe small groups of students as these groups rotate through several learning stations. The power of inclusion is so powerful for our students with disabilities to be included in their classrooms. And using the CAPS model, universal design, collaboration, and teaching techniques, all students and all teachers will benefit from it. Thank you.